EEG is a brainwave test or a recording of the electrical activity of the brain. Um, we use little metal discs that we apply to the scalp and record the electrical activity. Similar to as uh, EKG records the heart rhythm, the EEG records the brain rhythm. It stands for electroencephalogram, encephala being the Latin word for brain. So we're recording the electrical activity of the brain, and the brain has a lot of different rhythms from the different areas that we can look at. Um, we see a lot of uh, different types of neurologic problems coming to the EEG lab for recording. Uh, we can see people who have had head injuries, uh, oftentimes people who have had uh, fainting spells or blackout or dizziness. Uh, something where we were wondering if the electrical activity may be disturbed. For most of our EEGs, we do have our patients sleep deprived um, to get approximately four hours of sleep the night before. The reason for this is we like to have our patients uh, be able to relax and also because the uh, sleep deprivation is an irritant to the brain and it may help us to record abnormalities that we wouldn't otherwise see. The other thing we would like is for people to have had something to eat before they come in. We do a procedure called hyperventilation or overbreathing, and we don't want people to have low blood sugar for that, so they do need to eat before they come. Avoid caffeine. Again, we don't want people jittery or nervous during the recording. And the final thing is to come in with clean hair. Um, and free of any uh, hair care products like sprays or gels or mousses which might coat the scalp and make it difficult for us to get a good contact. Well, an EEG is one of the very uh, simple tests, uh, easy to do and very hopefully very relaxing for the patients. Uh, we have the patients just lie down on a, a cart and I will be measuring their head and placing the metal discs on their head in designated areas. Um, these are surface electrodes, there's no pain involved. We do use a Q-tip with a cleaning solution, just rubbing on the small area of the scalp where the wire or electrode will go. And then we put on a little paste or cream and put that uh, electrode in the paste and cream. Then we take a recording for 30 minutes and in that time, the room is darkened. Um, it's usually nice and quiet in here. Very often people do fall asleep for me. So it's a completely painless and hopefully very relaxing procedure. There's absolutely no side effects to an EEG, although they will leave with slightly dampened hair as we clean all the paste and marks off their scalp. Um, that's the only side effect. We're not taking anything from them. We're not withdrawing anything at all. We're just taking a recording of the activity that's going on all the time. Okay, the first thing I'm do doing is just washing my hands here. And then I'm going to measure your head as every patient or person has a little bit different size and shape. And these electrodes are going to be placed on your head according to a system which is an international system of measurements so that if your record is read by any other physician uh, they can look at those electrode designations and know exactly what part of your head they're on. Everybody's again a little different size and shape and so the wires are placed according to your head size. Once we have all the measurements made, then we're going to um, just turn your head a little bit. We're going to just place the electrodes on, first of all, with a little cleaning solution. And then I'm going to put a little electro paste on, which is a little bit like toothpaste. It actually comes in a tube and it looks a little bit like toothpaste. So this is just a little uh, cleaner on a Q-tip. And this has just got a little bit of grit in it or liquid sandpaper, just gets a little bit of the oil off your skin, right in the spots where the wires are going to go. There's a total of 27 of them that will be on your head, 
and one will be on your left hand to record your heart rhythm. Heart rhythm is a very large rhythm and can sometimes be seen in the brain as well, so we monitor that. So that's how we start to put the wires on. And obviously there's a bunch of them. It usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes to get all the wires on the head. And then the recording will be a half hour. And during that recording, we'll just turn the lights down and just have you relax as much as you can.